Before we start drawing geometric shapes, let's imagine this paper is divided into six sections. The first section is right here, and the second is here, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. Now let's see how we can divide them. Open a layer panel by clicking at Window Layer or you can press F7 on your keyboard. Every object that you can see here is included in Layer 1. If you close this eye icon, it will disappear. When you click it again, it will reappear. This is how we hide a layer and the object inside it. Next, I want you to name this layer with a name that we easily remember and recognize. Double click on the blue layer. A query will pop up and ask you to name this layer. We may name this layer as name to identify that it will be a layer for name and also the flame as well. When we are done with this, we need to lock it. Click on this tiny square. A padlock will appear. If we have locked this layer, we cannot adjust anything inside this layer. See the cursor? It has been changed to a pencil with a cross on it. It marks that you cannot do anything on this layer. If you want to fix or adjust anything inside this layer, just click on the padlock icon again and it will be unlocked. But if you but for now I think you would like to lock it. We will divide this paper into six sections. Create a new layer by, uh, by creating new layer. We will have layer 2 and I want you to rename it as basic. And then you have to click the button OK. I would like you to type number 1 by choose the type 2 and just click on the working space and then type number one. Go back to the black arrow which is the selection tool and choose the type two again and type number two. Do the same way as number one and number two until you get all the six number. However, um, as you can see, these numbers are a bit uneven because it still need to have them align. Don't worry, I think you can just select the number one and the number two and show the align palette. How do you show the align palette? Just go to window and choose align. Align will help you to adjust the object to sit on the same line. We will align it horizontally or adjust it to the left, to the center or to the right or even to the bottom and to the top as well. Or you can just make these two objects appear parallel for example 1 and 2 3 4 5 and 6 for example then we select number 1 3 and 5 and align them to the left we can do is to build these objects by use this to build object select select vertical distribute center You just choose the distribute button tool. Now we get a six section ready to be used. 
then align nicely and, and they are aligned nicely create a new layer and lock the layer basic rename the layer 3 as drawing I think we should change the name from um, basic to number change the name from basic to number that is better then it will be easier to recognize next I will move on to another lesson